Hello, good afternoon everyone and welcome to another video on Mr. Ong Math Lesson. And we have done the two questions earlier, question 1 and question 2 in two separate videos. And now we will go and tackle question 3. Again, there will be one achieved question, two merit question, and two excellence question. So let's go. So the first one is achieved question. They said that the sum of the interior angles of any quadrilateral is equal to 360. So they are all the algebraic expression and all these numbers have to add up to get up to 360. So what we're going to do, we're going to add them up. So we're going to put 9x minus 40. We're going to form an equation plus 11x plus 40. And then we're going to add plus 6x plus 5. And the sec last expression is 10x minus 3. And they are all going to add up to 360 degrees. Okay, good. Now we shall expand those in the bracket. So this remains the same. 9x minus 40 plus 11x plus 40. And we're going to expand it. It's going to be 6x plus 30. And this expression is going to be expanded to 10x minus 30. And that is going to be 360 degrees. Okay, now we're going to do some uh, manipulation. So you're going to simplify them. Minus 40 and plus 40 will cancel out. Plus 30, minus 30 will cancel out. And we are only left with the x's on the left hand side. So 9x plus 11x is 20x plus 26x plus 36x. So the total on the left is 36x equal to 360. Very nice number. And to solve for x, you divide by 36 on the left and divide by 36 on the right. And you get x, 360 divided by 36 is going to be 10. So x is equal to 10 degrees. That will give you an achieve in question 3. Okay, let's proceed. Next question is an excellence question. B is an excellence question. So we shall read the question. So the diagram shows part of the graph. The equation of the graph is y equal to ax squared plus bx plus 2. You have two points, q and r. They are given the coordinate. So this will be the x coordinate and this will be the y. The first number is always the x. And 4 is your x coordinate and 18 is the y coordinate. And you have this equation. So we are going to substitute the value of x and y into that equation to simplify that equation. So now, so your equation is y equals to ax squared plus bx plus 2. Now instead of y, we're going to replace with 13. Instead of x, we're going to replace by negative 1. Negative 1 squared plus b negative 1 plus 2. Okay. Now what we're going to do, we simplify them. 13 equals to minus 1 squared is going to be 1 squared. So A minus B minus 1 times B is minus B plus 2. We're going to simplify. We're going to uh, swap the numbers around. A minus B plus 2 equals to 13. And simplify, there'll be A minus B uh, minus 2 on both sides equals to 11. So that will be your first equation. Okay, great. Now we're going to do the same for R. So instead of X, we're going to replace with 4. Instead of Y, we're going to replace with 18. So the equation is going to be Y, so AX squared plus BX plus 2. So instead of Y, we're going to replace with 18. Instead of X, we're going to replace with 4. So it's going to be A4 squared. Instead of B, uh, a B will still remain. Instead of X, we're going to replace by 4 plus 2. We're going to expand it. So it's going to be 18 equals to 4 squared is 16a plus 4b plus 2. Now we're going to reshuffle the equation. 16a plus 4b plus 2 equals to 18. And then we're going to bring the 2 over. So 16a plus 4b minus 2 on both sides will give you 16. And then... We will make it simpler still. We can divide the whole equation by 4. So you divide everything by 4. You get 4a plus b equals to 4. That is your second equation. So now you have the first equation. a minus b equals 11. And the second equation is 4a 
plus B equal to 4. So what are we going to do? We are going to do simultaneous equation. So we're going to put equation 1, A minus B equals to 11. And equation 2, this is equation 1. And then equation 2 is 4A plus B equals to 4. That will be equation 2. Now what we're going to do, we're going to eliminate either the A or the B. So we can only eliminate with the same coefficient. So in this case, we can only eliminate B. So if we put equation 1 plus equation 2, A plus 4A will give you 5A. Minus B plus B will cancel out. 11 plus 4 is going to be 15. To solve your A, you divide by 5. A equals to 3. You divide by 5 on both the left and the right. Once you found your A, you need to find your B. So you can substitute A into either equation 1 or equation 2. I suggest we do equation 1. So we're going to put A minus B equals to 11. Instead of A, we're going to replace with 3 minus B equals to 11. Then we're going to minus 3 on both sides. Minus B equals to 8. Minus 3 on both sides. And then you divide by minus 1 on both sides. So B will be equals to negative 8. And that is your answer. A is 3. B is negative 8. And that will give you your first excellence in question 3. Not too bad, right? Okay, now we are going to do question C. Question C looks like that, okay? This is a married question. Have a read. Terry is five years old. Mari is four years older than Terry. How long will it take for Terry and Mari aged when multiplied together to make 77? So uh, we do not work to the five because it's algebra. So we let Terry. Sorry, in the wrong color. <coughs> Terry is going to be X. And Mari is going to be four years older. So it's going to be X plus four. So they say that when they multiply together, they make 77. So x multiplied by x plus 4, that will give you 77. We are going to solve algebraically, expand it. So it's going to be x squared plus 4x equal to 77. When you are solving quadratic, you must be equal to 0 to minus 77 on both sides. x squared plus 4x uh, minus 77 on both sides equals to 0 because you're minus 77 on the left and minus 77 on the right, you get that equation. Now we're going to factorize it, x and x, and then we're going to get 11 and negative 7. We're going to try that. 11 times x is 11x, 7, x minus 7 times x is minus 7x. When you add them up, it's going to be plus 4x, and that's what here. So the equation is going to be x plus 11x minus 7, equal to 0, and then you solve it, x plus 11 equal to 0, or x uh, minus 7 equal to 0. From here, when you solve it, you minus 11 on both sides, x equal to minus 11, or x equal to 7, because you add 7 on both sides. Because the age cannot be negative, so we can cancel that out. So x equal to 7. Since Terry is 5 years old, he will be the same age when 2 years later, when he is 7 years old. So that is a merit in this paper. Well done. So now we are going to do the fourth question, or the fourth section of this question 3. This question always appear in an MCAT, so whenever you have a fraction, what you need to do, you need to factorize the, the numerator followed by factorize the denominator and you will cancel them out. So if you know this uh, sum of 2 square, you get the sum of 2 square means it's going to be 2x squared minus 5 squared. There's a formula for sum of 2 square. a squared plus b squared equals to a plus b, a minus b. So if you know that, you can simplify them to be 2x plus 5 bracket 2x minus 5 because your a is 2x and your b is 5. That's the numerator. The denominator, okay? The denominator, you have to factorize them. So we're going to factorize here 2x 
an x and then we are going to get we try minus 5 and plus 2 multiply them x times minus 5 is minus 5x 2x times 2 is going to be plus 4x when you add them up together is negative x and what happened there so your denominator is going to be 2x minus 5 x plus 2 we're going to put down here 2x minus 5 x plus 2 so you have factorized the numerator you get that number you factorize the denominator you get that expression so if you can get either one of them right you get an achieve now the next thing you need to cancel out the common factors in this case 2x minus 5 the same on the, at the numerator and denominator you can cancel them out so your final answer is going to be 2x plus 5 the denominator is x plus 2 and that will give you a merit okay great now we are going to do the last question it's another excellent question there are two excellent questions they seem to have many excellent questions in this paper okay you are going to make x the subject of formula in terms of c p and y so we shall look at it now so what we're going to do the first thing we to do we are going to rearrange the formula because we want x so we're going to change the x on the left hand side so c x squared minus 7 over p equals to y plus 3 i just rearrange the formula this goes in front that goes that that goes behind and this goes in front so now the first thing we're going to do we need to get rid of the square root so we square both sides square both sides so when you square the square root will be gone so that's what happened the square root is gone and on the right hand side you have y plus 3 squared so far so good great now we're going to get to the p so what we do we're going to multiply by p on both the left and the right so when you multiply by p the p will cancel out so you're left with c x squared minus 7 and on the right hand side p y plus 3 squared okay now you're going to get to the c you divide by c on both sides of the equation so we divide by c the c will cancel out you get x squared minus 7 equals to p y plus 3 squared divide by c so far you following me great then the last uh, next one you get the minus 7 so you plus 7 on both sides so x squared equals to p bracket y plus 3 squared over c plus 7 and of course you are x you are one one and x not an x squared so the last thing you do you square root both sides so the answer is going to be p bracket y plus 3 squared over c plus 7 and the bracket square root the whole thing and that will give you an excellent sometimes you can put a plus minus you don't have to but that is how you do the excellence question so hopefully you watch video one, video two, and video three, and practice them again and again, and the question will look more or less the same every year. So go and ace it, everyone. Have a good day, and good luck on your MCAT. Cheers, everyone.